I think everybody knows about Bikila. Huh? Yeah. Uh, if you look, you know, just about Bikila, he's a, he, I mean, he's, he's not only a runner. He was the one, you know, just to, to create something. Uh, do you expect Tyler Gabriel without a baby killer? A baby ki- uh, without a baby killer, believe it or not, no one can achieve. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, but it, it was really tough. <laughs> <laughs> tough for you? <laughs> Running can be I'm tough for you? you. You know why? <laughs> I should I should start you know barefoot <laughs> from the beginning to the end. You know after you know just your uh, feet become you know just very soft <laughs> and you chuck off you know the, everything and you and you run. Woo! It's hot. And <laughs> 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 And then it is the hey here is I they come come and then <laughs> picture. Hey guys, you know I'm running. <laughs> picture no. <nope. laughs> I was able to uh, to overtake uh, African runners. <laughs> <laughs> but overtake. Yeah. I think it is. R- it's not a run, walk, huh? <laughs> well, we don't have to go to details. But, uh, <laughs> the Ethiopia run, the 10K is a must. But uh, in the future, what is our plan? Um, because you know, 40,000 to start one time, it's not a run. It's just a walk. And instead of that, you know what we're gonna do? You know, just uh, each five thousand, you know, just and then in between, uh, and then we we are going to have, you know, like chips. But it's a great concept. Yeah. We enjoyed it so much because it was not a competition. Yeah. It was yeah. a festival. Yeah. I've been yeah. to big marathons like New York, Berlin, and this event. It's at least yeah. the same quality. The people, they were so enthusiastic, and yeah. for us it's very yeah. hard to run here because we are not used to the. Yeah, 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 so yeah, running yeah. 10k it's here, here, it's almost like running a half marathon because mm-hmm. it's more. So it's perfect Imagine for us. Uh, it's a, it was a great experience. Perfect. Let me give you an example. You know what happened? You know this photographer uh, yeah. when uh, he left, and uh, oh, yeah. he was trying to climb. You know, just uh, some uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, no, no, no. There's a building. Yeah. He want. I mean, he wanted to take a picture from the building, mm-hmm. and. Uh, he almost collapsing. <laughs> going up. Yeah, going up. After uh, he, he told me after uh, fifth floor, <laughs> I could not walk anymore. You know the other. <laughs> <laughs> we thought, oh my God, this man stands up on stage and he is still laughing after the fifth hundred person <laughs> who shakes his hand. Uh, is this enjoyable or is this sometimes tiring or needs more endurance than running a marathon? I think that this is. My I mean, this is a character, I'm telling you. Yes, it's my character. I don't know. Yeah. It's always like this. And uh, I cannot, you know, just do a kind of fakey thing, you know. I, I believe, you know, just one thing. I came, you know, just in this world, you know, just to live my contract life. No one lives forever. Huh? It's uh, a contract, you know. Some, some people, they contract uh, take up to 100 years, and some people 50, some people even less. And yeah. Let's enjoy for that. She says, please ask this gentleman um, how he motivates himself to run, because there must be days uh, where he doesn't want to uh, get up to uh, do a workout or whatever. And she says, I'm 70 years old, I want to start running, but I need the mindset to start running. Um, what should she do? Oh, you know, the mindset, uh, when you talk about the mi- uh, mindset, uh, don't plan, you know, the way what you want to do, you know, just, if she wants to run, let you go. She doesn't need, you know, just to run uh, first day. Walk first day. Again walk next day. Just, uh, believe or not, for her, the first two weeks, it's going to be difficult. After uh, four weeks, it's going to adapt. After three months, very difficult to stop. <laughs> <laughs> ah, let me take uh, some some rest, like a few weeks. You know, after three days, mm-hmm. no sleeping, and uh, my the way how I eat, you know, reducing you know, just by, and even you know the my stomach couldn't you know digest you know just in proper way. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
houses is running in. <laughs> When you came to Vienna last time, uh, people were going crazy. Uh, they even had on the on the main running pl uh, course in Vienna, we have the Heile Meile. Um, <laughs> and, um, do you actually remember which town you visited, where you ran, and where they celebrated you in which way? And how was Vienna different to other places? One of uh, the, I mean, the big difference for Vienna, the city, how clean. Yes. Yeah. Keep that one. <laughs> I'm so I'm so surprised when I arrive in Vienna, so clean and nice and beautiful. I mean, it's a it's my I mean, one of my favorite city. The building, the way how you built, and the street, you know, just the the way how you you plan. You know, well, everything is is really, uh, but you know, especially the the cleanness of the city, keep it up and. Uh, well, come on, the people are okay as well, are they? Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if not, I don't see you. <laughs> Sometimes I'm jealous, you know, just to see a country like that. But we, we Will you come again to Vienna? Well, next step, you know, just when I come to Vienna, not for running, I'm telling you. Just, uh, I promise, you know, my wife, you know, to bring her to Vienna. My wife and my family. I'll bring them. <laughs>